Kurdistan, the cradle of civilization and the tourism summit. Kurdistan has overall been known as the world's paradise for its attractive nature. It has also been recognized as one of the regions in the world where human beings have lived there over the history. This fact has been reiterated by historians and the geographers whom have paid a visit to this part of the world or have passed through it. Many world travelers from around the world who are used to look for exploring the hidden beauty of the world civilizations have in their journals talked about how attractive is the topographical nature of Kurdistan. This being said, Kurdistan has over the history has drawn the attentions of the travelers whom have passed by. They have also become a source of information for others as they were reciting the story of their travel to and through Kurdistan. The high mountains and the extremely fruitfulness land of Kurdistan have had covered the biggest section of the vacationer adventure stories about Kurdistan region. <music> Historical stories also have a great deal about the places where once they were the center for humanitarian and where mankind have started for civilization. The most outstanding ones are Shanadar and Hazarmark 1000 husband caves that every single chronological fact being written about Kurdistan have also referred to these two historical places as the world's most ancient locations that still have their remnants. Aside from all these facts, it's widely known that the first agricultural process for cultivation began from the Jarmo village in Kurdistan and then relayed to other parts of the world. This tells us that Kurdistan has had been the heart of attraction and development at every agricultural level. In addition, in the southern parts of Kurdistan, the citadel of Erbil city has over centuries been standing high. Armies of many great powers have always struggled to capture that city and subdue it and turn to their cradle and capital. Different historical sources have distinguished Erbil city as the ancient one where life is still continuing. The date of its construction goes back to 6,000 years BC. Its height is around 25 meters and building on it the area of 1,100,000 square meters. Its height from the sea level is around 431 meters. The number of the houses within the citadel is around 506, making up three quarters of the Seba, Topkhana and Katia. In 1220, Yaqut Hamawi in his book Majam al Buldan, Lexicon of Countries, talked about a mosque that's in the center of the Erbil citadel. The famous Erbil historian Ibn Mustawfi also in his book History of Erbil mentions the same mosque and calls it the mosque of the Erbil citadel. Other historical documents similarly have pointed to significant parts of Erbil city, for example, the Jolly Minaret, which is 22 meters high and was built between 1128 and 1138.
since a long ago, the Hansa Palace became an interesting spot to visit by many local and foreign tourists. Equally interesting is the Erbil Museum where a collective of antiques are preserved that their date goes back to thousands of years. Along with the Erbil Museum, there is also a Kurdish folklore museum which exhibits and hand wave products. In the past, Erbil was part of the state of Mosul. To detach Erbil from Mosul city on January 1, 1919, it became a governorate province after the 1990 uprising, Kurdistan witnessed a new era. This time, despite all the difficulties that the nation was facing, Kurds nationals decided to retrieve the values to the region and turn it into a cradle for the civilization forever, away from the reach of the enemies, thus making it a future leading in every aspect. As it was historically atop of everything else, it will be also leading in the tourism sector even if it will not be the world's number one touristic place. At present, Erbil city consists of 82 districts having 12 hospitals and healthcare centers with more than 20 consulates for the diplomatic missions. Sami Abdurrahman Park is one of the biggest public green zones in Erbil city that covers 800 donums of land and it's located right at the opposite side of the Kurdistan National Assembly compound. If Erbil is not at the top of the world's touristic sites, it's always among the best ones in the Middle East and it will continue to strive to come in the first positions in this aspect. Thanks to efforts of the Kurdish people and the Kurdistan regional government that has realized that the tourism sector, like industry, agriculture and technology sectors, can get Erbil city a suitable spot among the world's well-known sites. To that end, efforts continue to flourish the tourism business starting with tourists from center and south cities of Iraq. According to reports, each year hundreds of thousands of people from all over Iraq visit Kurdistan region aiming summer resorts, public places and historical sites within Erbil province. At the second stage of developing Kurdistan region and its capital, Erbil has gone beyond the regional framework taking a global aspect for its progress. As a result, Kurdistan regional government adapted many tourism policies to attract every eyes to Erbil city in order to be seen as a potential region for the local tourists or to bring in expertise through the foreign direct investment in the tourism sector. So far in the Kurdistan region, investment in tourism sector has seen a considerable success that recommends others around the world to come to make similar investment businesses. To date, investment reports show that 17 billion US dollars has been utilized in investment sectors. According to the international and regional organization reports, Erbil is in the forefront stages of the development Many international newspapers and magazines recently have had stories on the progress going on in Erbil and Kurdistan. Right now, Erbil has hundreds of five-star hotels where every kind of entertainment is provided. However, there are many public parks covering different areas that became the focus of the visiting tourists.
More important is the renovation process that's going on at the archaeological sites like the traditional public malls and the ancient mosques which have always had been the center of the Islamic religion. At the era of the Muzaffar ad-Din Gubiri, the Prophet's birth anniversary was commemorated for the first time. Along with the Islamic religious sites renovations, the other religious sites have been restored, for example, the churches. The restoration process did not stop at the mosques and the churches. In Erbil province, it has played a great role at the summer resorts too. The most important summer resorts are Shaklawa, Bekhal, Galialibag, Sakre, Sakran and Rawanduz. The old canon in Rawanduz, which was originally designated by a craftsman called Rajab, who had lived at the time when the Pasha Ikora, the blind Pasha, was in power, is evidence to how Kurdish people confronted their enemies. There are many similar sites that their historical backgrounds need to be uncovered so that as many as possible tourists can be directed to them. Suleimani, although in every aspect is known for its striking nature, nice climate and the attractive summer resorts, it has recently become the cultural capital for the Kurdistan region. It seems that this choice was because of the well-known fact that Suleimani has always been a Kurdish famous city on one hand for its cultural history and on the other hand for the intellectuals and poets who had lived in that city. Along with other cities, Suleimani has been reconstruction and development progresses at all levels, which has drawn more visitors and tourists to it. The public parks and areas confirm the fact that the city has moved towards urbanization to great extent. Aside from all these, there are so many chronological sites in Suleimani, such as the Hazar Mert, 1000 Husbands Cave, etc. Additionally, with the city, there is a museum which is called Amna Suraka, the Red Intelligence Department, which portrays the way Suleimania people challenge their enemies. In Halabja, which is a district town within Suleimania province, the monument, which was set up to depict how the former regime was trying to wipe out the Kurdish people, it also conveys the message that what they did there now became a stain in the history of the enemies of the Kurds. There are many touristic sites in Suleimani, among them is Sarchinar located at the heart of the city. There are also hotels, motels, cafeterias, casinos and nice public parks. Simultaneously, there are several other touristic places within the province such as Zalim, Awesar, Sitak, Kharadakh, Azmar, Ahmedawa and many more. As for aquatic touristic places, the Dokan Lake is the biggest and the most outstanding one which is located on the main road connecting Suleimania and Koisinjak districts. On yearly basis, thousands of tourists within the region and from Iraq's southern sites as well as considerable number from the neighboring countries come to that lake where there are hotels and motels for tourists to stay in and many cafeterias for enjoyment.
Duhok is another province within Kurdistan. Likewise, it's considered one of the ancient cities as historical sources say over the last 8,000 years it's still been inhabited. At the present time, Duhok is also famous tourism province that draws its tourism from center and south of Iraq cities as well as from neighboring countries. As a province, it has many magnificent touristic sites. But as a city, because Duhok is close to the Turkish borders at the north and Syria's at the west, its atmosphere encourages tourism and business. Sersang, Solav, Suara, Tuka, Enishke and Amedi are the most famous touristic places in Duhok. Zaho, which is a small town, is located at the northern side of the province, just near the Turkish and Syrian borders. The reason which makes Zaho one of the most important border points for Kurdistan region. Khavur River by having the Dalai Stone Bridge on it and because it passes through the town gives Zaho a special touristic view. For being a border town, businesses and trade are very high in Zaho that made tourism in Ibrahim Khalil, Biza, Betas and Sharans and many other places to turn into a good source of living. At the present time, the number of hotels of type 3 to 5 stars in Kurdistan is around 490 with 214 motels, 1,400 restaurants, 50 modern villages that also considered as touristic places. On the 2013 New Year's Eve, 133,000 tourists visited Kurdistan region from which 44,000 were only from Iran and Turkey. Number of tourists came to the region via both the Erbil and Suleymaniya airports were approximately 10,000 visitors. Another method to promote for tourism was organization of the international trade fairs that started to bring in international attention to the region since 2005 when the first international fair was arranged in Erbil. In addition, a number of international political and social conferences were organized in Erbil, Duhok and Suleymaniya. On March 18, 2013, the Arabic League Universities Conference was held in Erbil, headed by the Salahaddin University. Hence, we can say that Kurdistan region is the cradle for humanity and an acme for tourism and investment.